Good afternoon, everyone. This is Marianne with the Conscious Inspirations, and this is going to be a weekly reading from September 2nd through the 8th uh, regarding what we were given on the Blue Moon uh, healing of Mother Earth. And I'm starting today again with my beautiful flowers, which have opened up the Asian lilies, which I used earlier on my altar. You can see on my other video. And today we're going to focus on The Goddess Tarot by Chris Waldher, The Magical Messages from the Fairies Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, and The Healing with the Angel Cards as well from Doreen. I've got here with me my Lemurian Crystals, and I've added in this theme of the sea. Uh, this is something uh, of that my friend the artist Cosette Zeno made. It's called Just Washed Up and there's shells and coral and rocks found on different beaches and that she's put it together with a piece of driftwood. So really, just really, really, really pretty. And so today I went ahead and consulted with the uh, Akashic Records and ask them to give me something for this week that we can focus on. And this is what they told me. By coming together and sharing your experiences, open your heart to love, loving yourself. Choose those things that have meaning to you. You heal me by healing yourself. Understand that all of you affect me, each and every one of you. So it's if each and every one start by healing yourself, by feeling love for yourself, you are on the first steps of healing the earth. Show the love to yourself by allowing yourself to be who you truly are. I accept you as you are. Now accept yourself. You have my permission and love. Disregard what anyone else thinks. Go inside and see what will make your soul sing and then do it. Feel my love for you so you can be whole. We are all one. And what you do for yourself, you do for me. Beautiful words from the Akashic Records and from Mother Earth. Um, I'm going to start with the Goddess Tarot cards. What I did was I just pulled out the Major Arcana and the Pentacles, uh, which is the Earth element, to see and have them give us what it is that we need to focus on for this week in healing the Mother Earth and ourselves. Right. One doesn't seem to be jumping out. Oh. Okay. We start with the three. Let me see if I can get this. Three of Pentacles. And you'll see they have this beautiful flowers all around the border. And I will read to you from Chris's guidebook as to what we can expect this week. Constructive and pragmatic building, career, relationships, home, alchemy or turning base energy into gold, the ability to transform talents into material goods or business success, cooperating with others to create such a venture. Um, I take this to mean uh, what we've been trying to do here in the community is coming together and healing the Mother Earth. So this sense of community, sense of building something, a uh, sense of doing something for ourselves and for the whole. So I think this is really clear from the goddesses, the message that, yes, this is what you need to be doing. Um, this is the correct uh, way to go. And um, what I really love about it is that I look at this card and it has this orange 
tint and these buildings are just so beautiful. I'm just so attracted to the dome, um, the three beautiful uh, pentacles or coins element here. Uh, just really a, a fantastically beautiful card. Um, now we'll go on to magical messages from the fairies and see how they ask us to take this step further. Hold on, they're all falling out here. I guess they all want to come out. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, I actually got two, so I'll go ahead and read both of them. Uh, practice, practice, practice. And here we have this beautiful fairy. She's practicing on her flute as the unicorn listens to her practicing. And it says, with daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. Um, so obviously it's telling us the way that we're going to come together as a community is to practice our skills. Practice that which is uh, what your soul desires you to do. The fairies love to play musical instruments, and they know that consistent practice increases their enjoyment, confidence, and competency. In the same vein, you drew this card because you are asked to accomplish something. The answer is for you to invest time practicing and working on your goal daily. Even a few minutes will add up to big progress. Take up a new hobby or skill. It's time to showcase your talents publicly. Take active steps towards your goal and to realize your dreams. All right, this is a continuation of what we knew in the blue moon for us to, to get out there, break those boundaries, get out of the comfort zone. Um, the second card that came out <laughs> was be yourself. So practice and be yourself. I'll read this to you. It says, the situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis of your personal power. And this is exactly expressing what I was told in the Akashic Records. And what I love, love, love is the wand at the end and the lit tip of the end of the unicorn, uh, lighting the way, being yourself. Um, being authentic, that Mother Gaia is giving us her permission. She loves us and wants us to be fully who we are. And so the last card I will pull will be from the um, Healing with the Angels Oracle card so that we have a little message from our angels in divine guidance. Yeah, one more shot. He doesn't want to see me come out, so I guess I'll just pull one. Okay, I'm going to fan them. Body care. All right, it's telling us, guess what? Take care of yourself. Take care of those. Don't put it off. Uh, get yourself checked out. Eat right. Sleep right drink lots of water. Um, she wants us to take care of our bodies so that her body will be taken care of as well. The, the booklet says, this card is your angel's way of asking you to pay attention to your physical body. Per perhaps you resist this guidance and the angels have repeatedly come to you about this topic. They remind you that the body is an instrument that when well-rounded emanates greater harmony. Your spirit is like the music of a grand piano, and the angels ask you to maintain that piano. Your angels know that if you follow this guidance, you will feel terrific. Your increased energy and happiness is your reward for following the angel's suggestions. They will help you find the time and motivation to exercise. They will also help you lose your cravings for unhealthful substances, and the angels will help you enjoy the newfound pleasures that come from purifying and maintaining your physical body. Wow, just beautiful, I'm trying to get down here again, beautiful messages, practicing, working into the community, being your authentic self, taking care of yourself as we need to take care of 
Mother Gaia. So the whole message here is it begins with us. Each and every one of us has an obligation to take care of ourselves first. And then that, as we do that, that will then start the healing with Mother Earth. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, reading today. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, checking out my website. Please, Glammy fans, remember my special for Glammy fans goes on till Monday. I'll take it off Monday night probably. Um, it's half off the readings. Half, uh, half an hour reading is now only $20.00. The one hour reading is $35. So please take advantage before tomorrow evening so that you can make sure you get in and get the special readings, especially now that we're here still under the influence of the blue moon. Um, I wish you great love. I thank everyone for their kind support and wonderful comments that uh, have been left for me. And I send you love and light. Much blessings. Namaste.